So you've purchased yourself a motorhome and you've decided to pull a vehicle behind it. What vehicle will you choose? Well, if you choose a 4x4 Jeep Wrangler JK, you've come to the right place because Charles and I are about to do a series on converting this Jeep Wrangler into a toad. Ribbit. Ribbit. Not that kind of toad. This is not meant to be an instructional video. We are not professionals. We are just Jeep owners attempting to modify our own Jeep. We are not responsible for anyone attempting this modification on their own. We are modifying! Hey, welcome back to part three in our series of converting this Jeep Wrangler into a toad. It's a nice, hot, humid day to be doing it too. Typical <laughs> New England weather. And anyway, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be installing the Hopkins kit. It's the 56200. It is their toad vehicle wiring kit and it will plug into the original factory wiring. Okay, step one, you're gonna remove the driver's side tail light. Just have to remove the two inner screws. All right, once the two screws are removed, just slide it easily to the right, pull it out. You'll see a connector right here, push in right here, pull it out. All right, so looking into where the tail light was, we do want to make a disclaimer here. We do have the lighting for the trailer hitch on the Jeep, but we disconnected it just so that we could show the proper installation of this one. We will hook it back up before we put the light back on. All right, there's the foam piece that comes out. Now the kit itself, this is the only part that's going to stay in the driver's compartment. Well, the driver's tail light compartment, that is. This is the passenger side, and this is what's going to run up front. So everything except this has to go through this little hole. <laughs> You did it! Yeah, yeah, it's really tough. It's, it's foam rubber. It goes right through. So I'm going to fish this through, get it down into the hole. Make sure you have this covered right. Alright, so we're going to end up strapping this dial converter right to this piece of metal here. But the thing is, the zip ties that they give you <laughs> look like this. A little small. Just a tad. So I'm going to use my own. <laughs> And that's how we're going to strap that around that piece of metal. It should hold it a little bit better than this, I think. And it has nice little handles right here to just put the zip tie right through. Put it up against here, wherever that hole is. So now it's zip tied on there. It's not going anywhere. Yeah, you shouldn't hear any rattles or anything. So. Just make sure that when you tighten this down, that none of the wires are behind it. Okay, we have the tow hitch wiring all back in. So what we're gonna end up doing now is we're gonna take the Hopkins kit and we're gonna connect it into the tow hitch kit because the tow hitch kit is connected into the Jeep and the, the knee bone is connected to the leg bone. No. <laughs> so just start out, I'm gonna put some terminal grease on the connections. And then take the male end to the female end, make sure they're clicked in good. Tuck everything in. Get your tail light. We're gonna end up doing the same thing. Putting terminal grease on the tail light end. Squeeze a little more up here. Okay. <clears throat> then we're gonna connect that in. Click. Tuck everything in. Gently put this in the way it goes. <laughs> Like I told you when we did the tow hitch, when you zap these back in. Gently. Do not go all the way or you will crack the lens. Okay, you do not need to jack up the Jeep or take the tires off. We did that strictly to make it easier to show you where we're running the wires through. So coming out from the driver's side tail light, you see those three black wire looms coming down? One of them goes off to our trailer hitch. One of them goes over to the passenger side where we're going to be hooking it into the passenger side tail light. And the third one is eventually going to make its way to the front of the Jeep. We took the wires going up front and the wires going over to the passenger compartment. We brought them to the inside of the frame on the driver's side. Then we wrapped them around the shock. And then Jeep was kind enough to put this channel in that we were able to fish both of them through over to the passenger side, as you can see here. In order to gain access to the passenger taillight compartment, we have to pop out this plastic piece. As you can see, we still have some main mud from the Go Topless event. So we took the taillight out, and there's a lot of great stuff in there. Great things are made with great stuff. That's right. In case you're wondering what this little piece there is, that's your stop for your rear door. Oh, 
cool. That's a lot of great stuff. Yeah, you gotta keep working it. Yep. So Chuck cleaned out all that great stuff. Now we have to pop that out. There oh, it is. There it is. <laughs> Right, we're gonna have to notch to get the wires to come through. Otherwise, this would be crushing on them or it wouldn't sit very well. So, I'm gonna come in right at this corner right here. Making a V. Enough to get the wire through. And I'm gonna have to come up on the top of it too. So we got the wires coming up. With the plastic. Now we just gotta button things up. So we reapplied some great stuff to fill the area to make sure there isn't any leaks. Throw some terminal grease on here. Just like that. Click it in. And we're gonna wait for the great stuff to dry and then we'll put the light on. Just getting the rest of the terminal grease on the tail light. Now I'm going to hook it in, seeing how all the great stuff has dried. Tuck the wires in, line it up, and I'm going to put the screws in. Now the other wire is going to go through that hole all the way to the front through the frame. Now what I did is I had some electrical wire laying around the house, so I fished it through the frame, and that's where it is taped to the wire I'm going to pull through. This is where the wires will be exiting the frame up front. Just to give you a reference, there's the front tire. That's where it's coming out. All right, so I'm gonna start pulling the wire through. And there it is. Now the first thing that we do before we do an installation like this is we cut off the four-way plug. Mainly because with the width of this, it will not fit in the frame and come out of the frame where we want it to. The reason that we cut it off is, oh, we always go with a six-way round. Just so that we can add extra 12 volt if we need to, such as putting a LED light in the motorhome to let us know when the brakes are activated. Couldn't, couldn't have set a punch it. Go a pilot hole. What we're gonna be using is an inch and a quarter hole drill. Okay, you need to take your time with this going through if you do this. And a little WD-40, if it starts getting too hot, I got that tip from a body shop. So, here we go. Starting to cut through here. I mean, I'm basically through. Here goes nothing. We have a hole. Smoking. <laughs> All right, so we have the wire run all the way from the rear up to the front now, and we have our holes drilled, and we did paint to prevent rust. Now, in case you're wondering why I didn't cut the white wire off, because I was afraid I'd forget where I put it. So we're gonna mount that first. So we're attaching the ground wire to underneath of the Jeep. There we go, that one's good. There we go. What we did is we're gonna be hooking up the tail lights, hooking up the ground, and the right and the left turn and stop signals, okay? So what I did on the six-way itself is those are the ones that have already unscrewed. Yep. Now to make sure that we have enough slack to get it in and out, I'm going to cut it to the length of what the ground wire came out to, thereabouts, and then hook it up. And a very important, this boot that goes on the back of it to protect the connections, make sure that it goes, <laughs> The wires go through it before you hook it up or you'll be disconnecting it <laughs> and squeeze that on through all right we'll be hooking that in later so that's our little cheat sheet that's our little done product <laughs> all right so it's all installed the wire boots on it's all been taped off so we won't get any moisture or mud or anything else down there everything's been painted everything's mounted now it just needs to be tested Tail lights, brake lights, right blinker, left blinker, brake lights with the right blinker. 
It worked well. Of course it did. <laughs> All right, so there you go. All the lights worked the way they should. Step three is now complete. Unless you have a vehicle that when you step on the brake pedal, your brake lights go on without a key in the ignition. What happens? I'll show you. Because the Wrangler happens to be one of those. Mm -hmm. When I step on the brake, see the, see the turn signal? When I step on the brake, it goes no away. So what happens is the brake system in the Jeep overrides anything coming from the RV. That could cause confusion for people behind you. If you're trying to change lanes and you're slowing down or whatever. So we will be taking care of that in step four. But this step three is complete. If you like what you saw, you learned something, give us a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to post them below. We'll do our best to answer them for you. And if you haven't subscribed yet, come on. There's only two videos left. What are you waiting for? <laughs> At least in the conversion anyway. But as far as this video goes, the end.